where the money resides, where the money resides. Keisha K. Lee is where the money resides. Yes, it is. Today, so I just fix my hair. I sitting here and I thought about something. I thought about God Links. I think I'm right about that. I think that's the name of Keisha Kaylee's hair company, whether current or prior. I remember Keisha. I remember this young girl. She was a nanny. She was, I think she had started her company. Um, and she was dating in a long-term relationship with Nasia. I, that's who I met. I met this young lady who was out here, and she was a cheerleading coach. I met this young lady who was out here just doing everything, living out her dream. She loved cheerleading coaching. I can't watch, I can't wait to see those little girls get into cheerleading. She was a nanny. She loved children. She always loved children, way before she ever had those kids. Um, the relationship, and she had the hair company, or she had just gotten the hair company started. I remember going into the days leading up to, unfortunately, the relationship ending. And Keisha still pushing forward with that company. I remember that first badass apartment she had. And just a really, and I say this every video, almost every video I say this. Just a really dynamic young woman. So impressed, so impressive. Now, were people hating on Keisha? Sorry, I'm making my call. Were, keep, were people hating on Keisha back then? Yeah. Keisha was getting hated on way before Jeremy. Way before y'all. Myself included. Fell in love with Ashley. Wait. Ooh, hold on, y'all. But yeah, sorry. Uh, there was some money calling. I had to answer the phone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, way before we fell in love with all these new people. Uh, that was an ambitious young lady. She had the hair company. It got really big for her. I remember Keisha showing all those big old envelopes and sending all the hair off. And it was just, I loved watching those early days of Keisha. I loved watching her hustle. Again, she inspired me, who is way older than her. I was inspired by her drive, and I was so impressed by her. Still am. No matter, it's just the personal decisions. I'm impressed by her and her business as a, her drive and her business. I'm still impressed by that. Um, I remember when Keisha started doing some marketing classes. Marketing for what? I'm not, I don't remember. I remember setting up marketing classes. And I do remember the hate train for that. People coming out saying, I took Keisha's marketing class. And it didn't work for me. Well, it didn't work for you. Because you're not Keisha. Uh, she has a special light about her. She has a special. She's special. And the reason why a lot of other people are not going to be her, even though they look good, is because they're not her. She has just a certain talent that just even if they even people who so-called look better are not gonna ever achieve her level of success because they're not her. She has a light, she has a drive that exists. But anyway, enough of kissing her butt. It's a shame that after seeing that young lady and seeing as far as she's come and where she's at. Seeing all of these people now attached to her. Seeing all of this stuff muddy up her legacy. I had a totally different video I was going to make. But um, I just thought about that. I said, God links. I remember God links. I remember that original, that original Keisha. Marketing Keisha. Getting out of her grind hustling Keisha. She's still there. She just dragging some bullshit with her, unfortunately. And she's got to free herself of that bullshit and she'll be okay. Um, now, enough about that. What I was going to say some more about, I said I got a lot of thumbs down on the live, but fuck y'all. <laughs> I got a lot of thumbs up too. Um, I'll get around to reading the comments. Again, one, one of my little boyfriends uh, ducked out on me, so I didn't get him, wasn't able to get him to read it. I'll, I'll, I'll get the other one to do it. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I was going to say after reading, no, after seeing Jeremy's newest video, talking about how much he misses his son and just the whole situation and Jeremy revealing, thank you, Jeremy. 
Thank you for those gems. Thank you for telling us so much more y'all's business. Jeremy, if you keep doing that, we're going to be okay. Stop telling us to stay out of it, though. Stop telling us and then saying, y'all hoes need to stay out of my business. But I was fucking Ashley. I was fucking Ashley's friend. But stay out of my business. But yeah, I was fucking Ashley over and over again, even though I told Keisha I didn't. Baby, it can't be both ways. You're either going to tell us all your business and just keep telling us. But don't tell us not to be in it because we in it. You tell us. But uh, anyway, I think <laughs> this is a cautionary tale. All this to say. I, I'm, I'm rambling. I, I didn't make any notes. This is a cautionary tale for you young women. When you see the, these Negroes, I'll never get monetized, ever. When you see these Negroes and their Benzes and BMWs or whatever your kids drive, G-Wagons, um, and he's flashing a little bit of money at you, he's buying you a couple dinners, you got to really investigate where that money's coming from. Look at this. Ugh. That looks terrible, but it is what it is. Um, you have to really investigate where this Negro money's coming from. Uh, we, as we know, the money resides with Keisha. And young, young Ashley has unfortunately found out the same thing. I think Ashley thought she was getting her a well-off YouTube celebrity. And no, Ashley got a regular old hood nigga who is attached to a well-known YouTube celebrity who has cut the purse strings. And don't be surprised. Well, Jeremy said this. He said, Ashley started being, started tripping once the internet got in her ear. And once things kind of really came out. No, I think Ashley probably started tripping. And saying I think, because none of us know. I think Ashley probably started tripping when Keisha cut them purse strings. When Keisha's like, nah, I'm not going to keep supporting this. This ain't my baby. I think that part of her has woken up. And now I think Keisha like, fuck that. I'm, I'm kissing you niggas' asses. I'm bending over backward to welcome this baby. I'm bending over backward to welcome baby mama. Y'all treat me like a, uh, like a stepchild. I really think that that's what has happened. I think Keisha said, uh, deuces. I'm going to cut in that purse string. Good luck to you, your child, and your baby mama. Oh, yeah, I'm going to stay with and I'm gonna stay with you. But you got to support your own child. These is my children over here. That's not my child. And so now I think that's now where we're hearing more juice. We're hearing more information because now the truth is coming out. And I think the level of support that Jeremy is providing now was always the level of support that Jeremy was going to be able to provide. I think before it was that Keisha support coming through and now it's just Keisha had fuck y'all, basically, to a degree. And now it's like, no, you be the daddy. You show the support that you gonna give as a daddy. I ain't got no money for for for, for, the, for this uh, baby no more. This ain't my baby. So now, unfortunately, the young lady is seeing the reality of that. It's not that he suddenly pulled away or that that's always who he was. It was just I think originally being backed by Keisha, where the money resides. Now that that's gone, well now now things is looking all janky and fucked up. But anyway, back to my lesson to you young ladies. Y'all need to know what y'all dealing with. These dudes that got these nice cars, buying you a couple of dinners. Half the time, he is living off his baby mama. Half the time, you got a Jeremy. And by the time you realize you got a Jeremy, y'all's goof ass has done got pregnant. And I believe that's why, where a lot of thumbs down come from. I think this has happened to a lot of y'all. These women out here uh, got these nursing degrees. Uh, they are directors. They are very successful women. But because... The, avail the availability of black men at that level is not as many. Women are going back down and pulling men with much, much less into the home with them. Of course, and these men are doing what these men do. Out here cheating, fucking around in this woman's car, using this woman's money, fucking with y'all, getting y'all pregnant. Y'all thinking you about to inherit uh, some rides in a Mercedes. You thinking you about to, uh, you, you done latched on to a lifetime of checks. Uh-uh, those are her checks. He never had the checks. Jeremy and a lot of these guys out here, the women are where the money resides. And I don't think she, and now she's starting to realize that. And now 
out here on the internet, putting all the business out here, it's all, it ain't gonna do shit. Just like I said the last video. Putting them out here, putting all this out here ain't gonna do shit. Uh, me putting Keisha's name in this, y'all putting Keisha's name in this, ain't gonna do shit. Keisha didn't, didn't, didn't fuck that girl and had to make that baby. That girl, it is what it is. So, cautionary tale. That's all I call this video. Keisha Kaylee, where the money resides, cautionary tale. Be careful thinking these men got money. Half the time, it's the baby mama's money. But you done already spread open. Let them come inside of you. Yeah, I'll say it again. Got pregnant. And then you realize who is really holding the purse strings. And then those strings get cut. And you with a common street nigga. Out here struggling. Having to make all the money yourself for your baby. And he ain't doing shit. Because now she done found out. He done brought a baby into the situation. Now she got making him be out here getting it by himself. So ladies, just... It ain't always, what, what glitters is not always gold. 